but there's another hypothesis which I sort of want to put forth, and, and I don't know if you'd, you'd agree, is that the new trend, the new social cleavage, I, I really think, which is emerging in Europe, is between the global politics, the universalists, sort of the globalists, yeah. and the localists. So there's, yes. and, and they can they can both be, you know, cro- they can be across the aisle. So so there are people that, there are people who are speaking the language of, of global politics. Yeah. And then there are people who are speaking the language of local politics. This is, if I may say so, the David Goodhart, a British author, some of you may have come across, of the left, who had this very useful uh, dichotomy he produced recently in a book called The Road to Somewhere, where he, did, where he says that the great divide that you described, he defines it as uh, uh, people who can be citizens of anywhere and people who are citizens of somewhere. And it's, 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 it's a useful way to, to look at it, is exactly this, the sort of globalists versus the, the localists. And, uh, I mean, I think this can be overplayed, but it's obviously coming up in all of our countries, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's what, what, what fuels the discussion of elites and so on. And, and as always with those things, you know, that, that discussion, unpleasant as it can get, isn't on to nothing. You know, it is true that there is a type of person for whom home can be anywhere. Uh, and it particularly happens at a certain level of a socioeconomic strata, you know. I can sleep in Philadelphia tonight, you know. So I feel like a citizen of anywhere. Um, and tomorrow night I shall sleep in Florida, I think. So there, I'm a citizen of anywhere. 